bloodshed, families torn apart, and a lineage of poverty is what the Larry massacre of 1953 in the heart of Kiambu County left behind in its vicious path. The effects of that dark historical period influence the lives of those left behind today. NTV's Ngina Kiruri and Robert Gishira revisit the massacre in a two-part special feature, The Scars of Larry. Tonight, we bring you the first part of it, and the second half runs tomorrow. This is the Nairobi Nakuru Highway. Many pass through this road on a daily basis with little knowledge about what took place in Larry many years ago. The year is 1953. A young Kenya is fighting for her independence but is about to witness one of the worst massacres to take place in the country. In this particular one, two parties of the same community are pitted against each other when they were supposed to be fighting a common enemy. This is the story of the Lari massacre and how it ultimately formed a stepping stone in Kenya's fight for independence through the Mau Mau uprising. The view here may be beautiful, but in 1953, it made for an ugly picture following a war that was bring amongst the Agekoyo people who are fed up with the oppression they suffered under the white settlers and their loyalists. A deep part of that history survives through the very people that witnessed it. So that Mao Mao terrorists cannot rely on a routine. If you need to get a na kaito, you have to take over the mudogo. Mao yo kago kuri. Ni ma kimeni le matige da barengi oke. Le uli magike la mudogo atiri. Chokiri <laughs> I am the leader of uh, the Mau Mau War Veterans Association. I cannot go out of uh, the compound. <laughs> yeah, yes, my wife's uh, mausoleum. She was also a freedom fighter. How old are you now? 96. 96? Wow. I want to start by telling you that this country was occupied by the British colonial power. That regime was treating the people of Kenya like beasts. Good night. 
These are Mau Mau songs. These are the songs that we were singing when we were fighting the British government. Then Camaro composed that. Sikereria iroga noruru, wakere magia tomo tomo, mumenye mwenye nyagare mwoyo, nadare hede agato tiga. Ilikana onacho mau mau, aige matiare adomo. Kwa uwari, nigeza matuare urea mareda, kurea du, ni matu magiranye mwakiari siatene. And this they would hear and they would get encouraged. <laughs> Only time will tell. And time is running out. So at the Second World War, and many young people had gone to war with Zungu, they realized, Kumbe, this guy, we can, is just like us. They came up now with the resistance movement, which became, which now exploded in the 50s, early 50s, into a full-scale war. thousand square miles of fertile and healthy highlands reserved for white farmers have long been a source of grievance to the rapidly increasing population of Kikuyus. Kikuyus did not have communal land. The communal land was forest and the Mariuku. Meanwhile, the white man's pioneering continued, building cities, mines, industries, railroads. <laughs> After the First World War, the British had to demobilize their soldiers. And the soldiers who were demobilized had to be compensated. The British did not have money to compensate these soldiers. So they took them to colonies and settled them on land. This again was repeated after the Second World War. At the end, they went to a place called Tigone. They removed the whole African family from Tigone to settle British Army officers. Chief Luka Kahangara and uh, other chiefs were convinced to move to Lari because Kahangara told the people, can we accept alternate land that is equivalent with water, good soil, fertile soil, grazing land, and forests? And the settlers agreed. But again, when they were taken to Lari, the land wasn't enough. <laughs> na jaliru kukithiyo ni dalio na miaka ya kwa dalio na miaka hakuwe na itini ni hizi tuwa tumagwa tuwa tuwa lile ma uma uke iyo hehehehe waigwa lewi amale tuwa jita kwa hili sebezi wabu ni wapa nia nye dete munu nari ito nji munu onari mungu li wabu hisiyo ni hini hile digozo wa matikizo wa mungu tiku tuwe kadoara ugo nidi ya gezo omile Todu papa ne 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 jira gati ugu ya bina gua ukirita wagi zomo. Koko ni kuhu mugadi, ya ikaraga. Ega ke ega diyo ukirio, na mutaro. Ni ni wamu siyo. Siya diyo ukirio na mutaro, ni kusia ikaraga. Ha ne ha kito kanyo baka mu iguru, kabi chota twenty thirty, kari iguru. Kari ikaraga kuhu mugadi kula agilaisi. Kurang-kurang lagi sih.
Luca Kahangara, the most senior colonial loyalist, would pay the ultimate price for agreeing to settle his people in the Lesser Lari, where he received the biggest portion of land for him and his relatives, wealth, and the title of Chief of Lari. On March 26th, the stage for the bloody massacre was set at his home area. Sawa. Part two of the first part of the scars of Larry coming up next. <laughs>